Plant to the Brecker Brothers, the local cats to the cream of the crop. You're here in the Jazz Cafe, 91.5 WUEV, the tastiest place for jazz in the Tri-State. And we're back here in the Jazz Cafe this afternoon. As I told you, we're going to have some guests this afternoon. And here's the premier guest. Uh, Some of you may know him as the uh, trumpet extraordinaire with Skelton's Montourage, but he's also known on the west side and all over the state, as a matter of fact, as the choral and band director of Modern Day High School, Alex Smith. Welcome, Alex. Hi there, Paul. How you doing? And he's in here today to talk about an event that's coming up on March 9th, 10th, and 11th at the Kemp Auditorium on the campus of Modern Day High School up in the west side. That's at 1300 Harmony Way, just a hop, skip, and a jump from the Hilltop Restaurant. And it's entitled the 5th Annual Stage Show, or 5. Why don't you tell the folks what that's all about? All right, yeah. Uh, So this can be a bit of a confusing thing because people don't know what a stage show is right away. But this is our fifth year doing this, and and what it basically is, is we try to take all of the exciting music and dancing and flag craziness from our really great marching band program and put it onto a stage in the auditorium and stretch it out. So we get all the same excitement. Instead of being packed into like eight minutes, we stretch it out for an hour and a half. And uh, a couple years ago, we started including um, the choir, which I'm the director of now, too. Uh, in all of this fun stuff. So now we have these huge kind of themed shows where we get to really branch out and do a lot of music that's different for the kids. We get to do a lot of exciting things um, for the audience. And we decided a long time ago that it was too exciting to just keep it a small thing, that we wanted it to everyone in Evansville and all over the place to see what our kids could do. So we really worked hard to um, publicize it and turn it into something much more than just like your standard band concert. And it's far, far, far from just a regular band concert. It's really a, a cool event. I, I, this is the fifth show, and I was as I was doing research for our time together. You can go on YouTube, and there's a lot of videos <laughs> from yeah. from some of the some of the stuff that's on the field, but then from some of the other shows. Mm-hmm. A, as you go through a fifth year. Obviously, you've gone through a whole cycle of musicians right, from freshmen yeah. to seniors, and now you're kind of in the second generation. Yeah. So has the energy continued from the very beginning and, of course, all the anticipation and the enthusiasm of doing something new into a fifth year? Yeah, that's that's a good question. Um, and that's one of the joys and, in some way, one of the difficulties of being an educator is that every four years, you know, everything that you do is different. You know, you have entire different people to work with. Um, And I've been really blessed to have great kids to work with every single year. Um, And having said that, you know, I've gotten to be a better teacher. The school has kind of built itself around what we're doing more and more. And it enables us to do bigger and better and more complicated and and more entertaining things every year. So the, the students have been more excited about each year, which then just kind of feeds itself and it gets bigger and bigger. The band program has grown. Uh, When I started as band director five years ago, um, I had in the entire program, we had 28 kids, I think, in the entire thing. That's musicians and uh, percussionists and dance and guard and all these people. And we've um, doubled it now, so we're over 50. Oh, excellent, excellent, yeah. And so everything has gotten much larger and much much more fun. But that first first group of students had some really notable students involved with it. Um, There's a student here named Tim Geyser who's a – really great drummer I, yes, he was actually he is very good yes. yeah he started as a senior at modern day Excellent, um yeah. i was one of the people who helped him <laughs> play drums for the first time um i've had that same class had um aaron holm who is a local trumpet player play, who now plays, plays with uh, blended society and and the funk and he the funk, does the yeah, funk right. uh, down the mardi gras thing yep, he was one yeah. of my kids um okay. let's see a, a girl named Lindsay mann who now is um uh, she's studying in Nashville, and she's working in the studio there. Um, I had a really great guitar player. Um, a lot of kids now, who are now, now in the USI I, I don't jazz mean band. To, is Lin, does Lindsay work for the Otters in the summer? I'm not sure actually, because I, I mean there was some there was I I think I heard her sing. I don't if I'm getting the wrong person. I I, I you don't know if make, you heard her sing. It's, yeah, she, she's pretty she, unforgettable. Every once in a while, they let her pop in there and sing, kind of like uh, 
you know, just to keep the people going during the inning. A fan- fantastic, fantastic yeah. singer. Yeah, if it's the same a modern day kid too. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. And so, uh, I mean, we've it, it surprises people when they find out that the things that we do at Modern Day, you know, there's that perception of oh, it's a West Side Catholic uh-huh. school. Like, you know, how much can they really be doing that's out there musically? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, <laughs> and then they then well, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not. Know. That's the stereotype that right. you sometimes get, and then. They come and they hear and they're surprised that they can hear all of this different kind of music, stuff that they would never expect to hear from high school kids, let alone high school kids at that school. And it's really, really one of the greatest things about my job is that we get to do all this crazy stuff. And and I don't like I said, we're talking about uh, the fifth annual stage show five put on by the modern day group with the band, the guard, the dance cats and the choir, which will take place March 9th, 10th and 11th at the Kemp Auditorium on the campus of mm-hmm. modern day high school and we'll be telling you in a few minutes about how you can get tickets and more information about that uh, over the uh, christmas holidays i was fortunate enough to be at saint benedict's cathedral oh, yeah. and catch yeah. the uh, germania manicore mm-hmm. excuse me and uh, one of the things that they had in addition was the modern day some of the modern day choir and some of the mm-hmm. memorial choir mm-hmm. and it seemed that the, the 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 rapport between both of the schools and the choirs was was really great i mean it, yeah. it, it seemed like everybody kind of knew each other and they played rather than you know they're just we're in our corner and, and you're in your corner yeah, and actually I, I there was a bit of a misconception with that that was actually just modern day's choir there's okay, no okay. memorial choir right, there okay. even though I, we wanted them to be there and we tried to get them to be there right. um there was a concert later on that was with them but yeah oh, that I was see, just us that was just I my see. choir and, but but nonetheless i mean I, mm-hmm. I was just i mean it seems like a lot of times as as we get older it used to be kind of an us versus them thing but because right. of funding and because of how everybody kind of interacts with each other especially when it comes to arts and theater and music oh, yeah. that sometimes the the names and the and the uh, the the labels kind of drop away but when you guys were playing with Germania Manicor in that space mm-hmm. it was really really a nice thing besides this particular type of show that we're talking about today mm-hmm. do you get a lot of opportunities to go out and do those things oh yeah um and that's one of the things i think is really important for our, my students and the students at Modern Day to get exposed to is that, you know, they're a part of a much larger musical community here in Evansville. Um, and besides Germania Manicor, which we hopefully will be doing even more things with in the future, um, we've worked with Memorial. We did do a concert later on that day with Memorial's Band and Choir, which was wonderful. Um, our marching bands perform together uh, every year. Um, we work a lot with Bossy High School. I'm, I'm very close friends with their band director, and our two band programs are very close together, actually. We have picnics together every year and we've done practices where we switch uh, where we swap our staffs like we're just very close knit so they my students get to understand that it's not an us versus them like especially with marching band which is this sometimes a terribly overly competitive thing um we work really hard to make sure they understand that everyone is working with these things and everyone is really wanting to learn about life through music and that's really what we try to do is get them to see that everyone is doing that well, and in a lot of sense, too, as, as most adults will, will recognize from their times as, as in high school or, or, and or college, you can build up friendships that will last a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's one of the things I love the most, actually, is, is getting to see students who you have graduated years past and come back and are still talking to each other or, in some cases, still dating and, or, or have a close friendship that they're never really going to let go of because of their time that they got to spend together and my programs and that, and that just I just I don't know it's indescribable <laughs> uh, talk for a minute obviously as your uh, program has doubled in the yeah. five years you've mm-hmm. been there and obviously and and the quality obviously has mm-hmm. has increased obviously lo- the logistics and the challenges and putting these kind of things on <laughs> have increased why don't yeah. you talk about just for a few minutes about some of the things that you have to do every year to put this on uh not sleep is what i have to do <laughs> I, I have to not sleep at all <laughs> it, um and that's gotten better but uh um yeah the logistics are are incredibly complicated for any kind of a large show um and anytime you bring in so many people into it I'm very, very lucky that I have an excellent staff at Modern Day. I've really been blessed to be surrounded by people who are just excellent, excellent um, with working with students, teachers who understand how to teach music, how to teach performance um, to, to students, which is really, really a skill of itself. So a lot of logistics is planning, you know, what's going to go where, who's going to do what, what is going to really challenge each of the students individually. Since this is... Uh, a great concert opportunity for us, but it's also kind of the off season 
for band, if you will, which is sort of silly. Um, we really, really work to try to challenge our students very, you know, as, as hard as we can in one area or another. And this gives us the opportunity to do that. So you have to have the logistics to figure out what they need to do and what you want to do in the future and how to push them to get them to that spot where they can um, be more successful. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff. The musical planning is, is mostly where that is taken care of. Then obviously there's a lot of the technical logistics, um, you know, setting up PA equipment, running light shows, running uh, the video presentation parts of all of this, the online component, managing the Facebook site. Uh, we have that online. I got have thing. a Facebook site. Oh yeah, of course we do. And you know, you're nothing if you don't have a Facebook site anymore. So really, um, all the kind of logistic issues that you can imagine with a large show have really just been brought down to the high school level, which is really an exciting thing for us as well. And and as you, you you've mentioned some alumni who have gone off and, mm, and, yeah, and become, yeah. you know, whether they're either professional musicians now or they're in college and mm-hmm. doing really well. Do, do you find that as this program's developed under you and, and maybe it was still going this, that way before you came, are, are you directing kids to certain universities? Are you, I mean, how does that exactly work? Because I know in sports, obviously, everybody right. kind of knows how that works. It, it seems like it might be the same type of thing with band. Right, and it, and it can be that. And I don't want to, I don't want to pose this or I don't want to answer this the wrong way because it, I feel like sometimes people push their students too hard to go into sports anyway. Like they say, oh, you need to go to this place to do this. Sure. Um, so I try to limit that as much as I can. And, and I, it, it's very apparent the students who are really, really into music and are just wonderful performers and are going to do music for the rest of their life, but probably mm. don't want to study music. And those students, I really always want to make sure that I just instill in them a love and a desire to perform and to play music for the rest of their lives, even if they don't do something in college. Um, and there have been a few students. I've had a lot of students who have gone on to be music majors and to do performance things. I've got a lot of kids at IU right now who are on the dance, uh, like with the dancers and in the marching hundred. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my students, one of my vocal students is now in uh, straight no chaser too. And even though he's not a music major, he still got himself involved with, that kind of a performing group which and, is and, always exciting and and you it was really interesting last year even though they came here in december and yeah. performed you were able to get them to come in for a couple of performances at yeah. Day, didn't you that was well excellent. yeah and actually we the the big group came in the the older group the yeah. folks who graduated uh-huh. before came in uh, over christmas and right. a couple well, it was about a month beforehand um the current iu group came uh-huh. in and did a performance and they were just they were outstanding oh, yeah. really yeah. unbelievable excellent excellent but we they came to modern day because of that student who was a modern day student who is currently in their group and it's nice to have those kind of connections oh yeah that, that, goes, <laughs> oh, yeah. that can go a long way and, and and obviously too with the way funding is mm-hmm. even even on a on a on a very local level and 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 even in house with modern day i mean you know as you increase your quality and your student load and everything obviously they seem more of a merit to, to fund and to back right. those kind of things. And I know Modern Day has gone through a, a, a big uh, uh, rebuilding process and as far as the facilities have gone over mm-hmm. there in the last 10, 15 years. And the campus has gone from, you know, not, it wasn't ever a backwater, but, I mean, they've increased it and it looks nice and, and doing everything. So there's all those little kind of things that would not only help you continue, but obviously hopefully att- uh, recruit some people to come into the high school. Yeah, we, and we always want to encourage, especially the students who want a really a really different kind of faith-based education of course but also a very different kind of artistic education to come to modern day because we really can offer a lot of things that are a lot different than what the public schools around here can offer Um, and i'm not saying that out of any any malice towards what they do i came up through the public school systems here in evansville and i and i have nothing but utmost respect for what they've done Um, but we can do things differently than they can and for some students that can be a great advantage Excellent, excellent. Well, we're here talking with Alex Smith, who's the choral and band director of Modern Day High School, located on the west side of Evansville, and we're here talking about the fifth annual stage show entitled Five, appropriately enough, taking place on March 9th, 10th, and 11th. The uh, March 9th and the 10th show, which is a Friday and Saturday, will be 7 p.m. performances, and on the 11th, which is a Sunday, there's a matinee at 2 p.m., and uh, why don't you tell the folks how they can get more information about this? Sure. Um, there's lots of ways to get information. Uh you can just show up at the door the nights of the performances to buy tickets, and uh, that's always still an option. Uh, you can find out a whole lot more information by going to our Facebook page. Uh, the Facebook page is 
MD Marching Wildcats um, as the extension after the Facebook. And you can find uh, links to the show page for five, the stage show, as well as a lot of inf- other information about um, the band and core programs there as well. Um, if you want to get tickets um, without going and showing up at the door, you can find a link to a company called Show Clicks, which we're using to do our online ticket sales. And they also have a phone number, which is one eight 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 seven one tickets which seems like it has too many numbers in it, <laughs> but it does actually work out, and you can get um, order tickets uh, 24-7 for the modern-day stage show that way as well. Excellent. Well, listen, Alex, I appreciate you coming in. Oh, and, you. and once again, uh, you know, while we're here, I want to also remind you, besides uh, him taking the West Side system by storm and having <laughs> having these great shows out there, he's also the uh, one of the founding members, as a matter of fact, yeah. of Skeleton's Montrose, your trumpet player. And they're going to be at the Deerhead tonight at 9 p.m., correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. Got to come out and see the Montourage once a month. If you don't, then uh, you can't complain that you didn't miss a <laughs> tremendous show. And uh, we just want to thank you for uh, coming in this yeah, afternoon. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. All right. And once again, that was Alex Smith right here on 91.5 WUEV here in the Jazz Cafe. Want to remind you that the fifth annual stage show entitled Five is going to take place on March 9th, 10th, and 11th at the Kemp Auditorium on the Modern Day Campus in the west side of Evansville. Great opportunity. Uh, I've seen the shows before. They're very, very well done. And, and uh, you know, besides supporting the young kids, I mean, the next generation coming out that uh, hopefully will carry on the torch for music, uh, it, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to get, get to see some great music, some great music and some great production. And uh, so we're going to continue on right here in the Jazz.